If it is necessary to adjust the parameters of the FireNet network, this can be done either using the PCC2X configuration utility, or directly from the menu of the Fire panel. In order to make changes to the panel, you must be logged in as an installer. To log in press F4 to select the main menu. Using the jog dial turn it to select a user, which has the installer credentials. Now press the jog dial to scroll down to the password option. Using the button select the correct password for the user. To do this, simply turn the jog dial to select the correct number and by pressing the button will move the cursor to the next digit. Now press the jog dial or F4 to enter into the installer menu. Scroll down to panel setup and press the jog dial button to enter. Here, select FireNet and confirm by pressing the button. Upon entry, you will see a number of settings that you can configure. Let's start one by one. FireNet map. This is a list of all detected control panels. Here you can not only see if the panel is online or offline, but also configure which other panels in the FireNet network your panel should communicate with. The panels can be included or removed from the communication. To do this, highlight the items and press the button to activate, yes, or deactivate, no, the panel in the network. By default, newly detected panels do not communicate with others in the FireNet network. If a control panel previously configured to be in the Fire Network is not detected, a fault message indicating the offline status, with the FireNet ID, is reported. FireNet Operation Mode It configures the control panel network operation mode. The regular panel may run as a standalone unit, networked panel or repeater. By default it's standalone, when the panel does not connect to the FireNet. Networked means processing and displaying only remote events in zones inside the range of zones of the panel, while the repeater will show everything from panels specified in the repeater map. Repeater map. It configures the control panels in the FireNet network, that your control panel being configured as the repeater, will repeat. To do this, select the panel from the list and press the button to activate or deactivate the repeating. Global controls. It configures global control options for networked control panels and repeaters. If you want the panel to send commands to the other panels, select yes. Otherwise choose no if commands should apply to the local panel only. Event filter. In the event filter you can select the events to be presented from other panels in the FireNet. The panel always displays alarms and alerts, but faults and condition reporting may be filtered out. Command Filter It is a selection of commands sent to the FireNet network from the control panel with enabled global controls. You can activate or deactivate them using the dial. A command to reset. Silence the panel buzzer. Sounder start stop. Sounder delay. Fire routing start stop. Fire routing delay. Fire protection start stop. Fire protection delay and day-night mode changeover. Class B. The network class option will select what is your network configuration wiring, class A a ring, or class B a bus. When option B is configured, no fault is reported for an open network. Max transceiver delay. The intention of this setting was to add a delay for reporting an open fault in FireNet but it should not be modified. To return to the main screen, press F2 exit. If you have changed any settings, you must press F3 to apply them to the panel.